only hopes I have at this point are survival to the next day. Yes, we didn't want to see him as people, and we didn't want to see him as our concern. And they're both people and our concern. When I lost my son, uh, I, it, it did something to me, you know, my, it broke my spirit. I just want to get inside. I don't like it out here. You know, money don't make you. God makes you. If you really have a goal, you can make it. It doesn't matter how how low you go, you can make it. You know, this is America. <laughs> when people did step up at no taxpayer dollars, not one taxpayer dollars, and provided dumpsters and porta potties so people could go to the restroom and throw their trash away, the city ordered them out. But it's time for the people to stand up. These people aren't living here, they're surviving here. Federal police coming to town! I am worried constantly, I'm worried sick because I don't want to be out in the rain with no roof over my head. This is all I have is a roof. People are getting scared. Where are they going to go? Everybody that walks by me has nowhere to go. Do you want to shut down Tent City? Then more are going to pop up, maybe even in your backyard. And there's 1,800 men, women, and children in shelters. There's 1,200 men, women, and children not in shelters. There's a 14% increase of new families. That's the big difference. I don't think anyone ever had a good job, a good home, and had life by the tail and said, you know what, I just decided homelessness up by the river is better than this, and I'm going that route. There's uh, a lot of people out here that don't know where the hell they're going to go tonight. We should have a place where we can put up a tent. I pay taxes. I pay taxes my whole life. So where am I supposed to go? People over here were just fine in Tent City until they ran us out of Tent City. Because Human dignity is based on housing and safety. What we want is safe ground. The soul of us as a people really hangs on how we care for those who are most vulnerable among us. May the cry of those who are homeless continue to haunt us. Trying to deal with these issues will be significant. Every time you find a little hideaway, someone come along to say you just can't stay. Can't stay. So if there's plenty of land, and God knows there's plenty of homeless people, what is lacking? Political will. What do we want? Say no! What do we want it now? What they did when they busted up Kansas City, they busted up a community. All I'm saying is this, we're all human beings. We're only a step away from homelessness in so many of our lives. There's a lot of trades out here, skillful people and everything. We're not going to see this going away, and we need to do everything we can to help. This is the second time in a week I've had to move my camp. All we need is help. They came out on the 29th, they gave us eviction notices under the bridge. They told me I had two minutes to pack it all up and get the hell out of here. They were throwing it all away. So we got Sacramento PD's finest harassing homeless people for living. It's ironic that it takes times that look this bleak before people wake up. And we're saying we have a solution. I believe the solution that would work would be safe ground. Yeah, it's a matter of human right. It would be nice to have a place to lay my head. It's something we're all trying to work for is safe ground. I think it's so important that people have a safe place. That everyone deserves a little space. He said the policy of the city is to keep homeless people circulating. This is what not living in Tent City would do to you. And we want the county to keep our shelters open. people in Sacramento and in Washington have no clue as to how to manage money at all. We know that these are very, very difficult times. I was at a job, but then pretty soon unemployment runs out and the doctor tells you you can't work. In other words, we are headed into a crisis of mass proportion in our state. Right. So we need safe, safe ground. ground. Right all right. Everybody knows about this July 1st rally. First year of my life, my family was homeless, and so I come from where a lot of you people are coming from. I've worked my whole life. Yep. We just fell. It just happened. I just don't know.
We served our country. Yeah. We want it back. These people are our friends. We do not want our friends sleeping in gutters. We do not want our friends sleeping on the banks of a river. This real good start. Good. Let's hope we can make it permanent somewhere. The first one is no drugs. The second one is no alcohol. And the third one is no violence. At some point, we're going to have to make a stand. Nobody wants to get arrested. But what else can we do? If you don't like the homeless problem showing up literally on your doorstep, then here's a good solution that will actually work, where folks will have a place to be instead of downtown under a bridge. Come Friday, we're going to have to figure out what to do with everybody. I just need a place. I just need a place. I just need a place to lay down. I just need somewhere. We've got 70 yeah. people on the move now. Absolutely. And this is going to grow. Yeah. According to Senate Bill 2, which is state law, the city is required to provide an emergency shelter space. They have not done that. Now, all of the campers have signed a pledge of no alcohol, no drugs, no violence. Right now, you're not allowed to be here. It's trespassing on city property. So if you can ask everyone to leave, I would appreciate it. I don't think there is no place in this city for these people to legally exist. Mind if I talk to you for a second? This campaign is all about exactly what I need. Safe ground. There's so much potential for this if we can just get it off the ground. Where am I supposed to live? Oprah was down there at Tent City, yeah. and then after that they closed it down, I don't know. This thing's only going to get worse. It's a fine line from being here and being in a nice car driving by. Definitely a pain in the butt. They have to pick up and move every day. Every she time we get a safe ground, though, they they made it off. We've got to change the image of the homeless here. The camping laws, right. the thing we got they to challenge. To That's where the fight is. People haven't stood up and said, I, I have no other place to go and I'm going to stay right here. And but we're going to this time. There's nothing they're going to do to stop us. We just need the backing of the government. It just seems ridiculous that we don't have that. This is America. I mean, people shouldn't be treated the way we're treating them. It, it just kills me. My, my birth mother left me at three days old, but I've never met her. I think we as a city got to take a very hard look and what we can do for this particular population. Mm -hmm. These are good people. These are people who, have, who are like me, you know, who've just fallen in the hard times. Right. You don't heal an economy by sweeping the people who, who fall off the bottom and under the rock. Right. They're tearing up everything on the river right now. They go through with helicopters at night and infrared and in the daytime the rangers come moving in and start Tearing up people's stuff again. We got some real trouble coming at us here. We're taking on city council. We are going to have neighbor problems. Yes, we are going to have a neighbor problem. Yeah. Well, ever since we got pushed out of the field of dreams, we've been hiding out on the river. Do you know what, people? We're getting tired of running and hiding under the bushes like a bunch of damn animals. Yeah. We are going to have to organize here and do this again. And this time, we're going to have to stand our ground. This is going to be a very public act. And it's going to be a courageous act. We expect resistance. We expect police to come in and run us out of here. You haven't broken the law if the law is unconstitutional. I'm going to safe ground. <laughs> if this works like we want it to, this could be a great thing for everybody in our whole entire country. The neighbor called because of all the tents showing up. We have one, two, three, yeah, four, mayor, five yeah. policemen and three okay. police cars yeah. out here. We're not sure how it's going to end. I don't know. Sometimes gonna burn your feet